So welcome to my channel and today we're going to be revealing about the Circa Premium DNA. So what is this about? It's like very comprehensive DNA testing which it's proven by the scientists. So what we're going to talk about is something very interesting and why do I really recommend this Circa DNA and not other tests, right? I actually did another test before and since I'm Asian, all they gave me was I'm Asian and that's all they did not tell me like which part of Asia am I from you know there's so many kinds like I could be from what Thailand Vietnam or something like that but no that old test that I did only gave me Asian that's all so why I totally recommend this circuit DNA because they have specifically done more in-depth you know where you're from even if you're from China are you from South China North side East West everything and then even the slightest bit you know they would tell you so i find it very informative oh, there it is. Uh, say hello to the to you that's cute so we have this box thing let me see inside so so there are three steps in collecting your dna so firstly i have to open it and they want us to actually download an app which is very crucial because you get all your information in there so without the app, you can't really do anything. So you have to firstly register this kit. Secondly, before taking all the samples, you do not have to drink, eat, smoke or anything. Thirdly, there is a tube that they're given and then this is where I'm going to show you how to do it. And after that, we just send it back to Hong Kong. Okay, this is how it's going to be done. I'm going to remove the swipe. Take the swipe out of the package, make sure that it does not touch the teeth. I'm going to remove these and then after that I have to wrap cheeks inside and then place it in the tube. So you know. Guys, no, no tube, cheeks. Okay, and I'll place it in the tube, and then I'll swap in the middle. So I'll put it in, and then I'll put it here, and then I'll put it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'll place it in, and I'm off to sending my samples. So the results are out and then we are going to talk about my diet type. So apparently people think that I'm an alcoholic and actually honestly I don't think I am which was proven right. Look at that. I only have normal sensitivity to alcohol. So what I have to be careful is actually my carbohydrates intake and my salt sensitivity. So besides that I have to be careful of taking carbs as I'm very sensitive to it and having too much salt so what i really need to increase on my diet as they can see it from the left side here is that i have to take more vegetables and i have to detox more so apparently i'm a little lactose intolerant but i don't feel that because i always take milk and i feel okay after that so Maybe my genetics was supposed to be dead, but when I was younger, I just drank lots of milk and maybe I turned out okay. So yes, mala, high sensitivity. I'm very sensitive to spiciness, but I've learned how to eat it after that. Like I've been going to China more often and taking lots of hot pots. So I've been trained for the past five years. Yes, I can say I can eat the hot, spicy mala which is my favorite. So I'm glad that proves it all. So next we're gonna talk about the nutrition report. So you need certain types of nutrition for your healthy growing, right? So what I really need through the report, as you can see is I need higher omega-3. Though I really took a lot of fish oil, but I didn't know I have to increase my DHA, which is very important. And not only that, my folic acid and iodine. So these are really very crucial vitamins that you need to take in order to be a healthier person. So for sports and fitness, if I really want to slim down and stuff like that, you know, actually I thought swimming was the way for me to slim down more. But during this DNA test, they actually showed me what would be the best optimal training. And actually it turned out to be gymnastic, weightlifting and boxing. So actually, I've already done Muay Thai and I will continue to do more intensive Muay Thai then because I really like the boxing part of Muay Thai. 
So something really very interesting about the sports fitness result is actually the heart rate response to exercise. You know, you don't want to be like exercising and then suddenly your heart rate's like boom, 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 and then boom, you know, you kind of die or something. So it's very important to check. Are you sensitive towards it and stuff like that? Which I'm looking at it. That's why I always wear a watch to check my heartbeat because if it goes above like 160 or 170, that is so dangerous. They will have an alert for me not to overexert myself because sometimes if I don't exercise for days and then suddenly I just go into intense mode of exercising, that is very dangerous. So with this test, it actually helps me to tell myself, hey girl, please be careful and don't exercise too much like increase your heart rate and then after that you just die so right now we're gonna talk about my success traits yeah so it's very interesting that i found out that under creativity i'm gifted which i know i am gifted for creativity i don't need a scientist to tell me that i know i'm trying to be humble here but i always knew i was creative uh, had all this creativity because I could just simply think out the box very easily everything was so much easier for me like if you ask me to do like think of an ad or whatever you know anything with creativity I can do so like even mixing for DJing it's actually totally simple for me people have to mix in keys and stuff like that for me it's like you give me an environment I can improvise I can quickly change the music straight away um, depending on the crowd, I can, you know, see what is it. I have to be creative. I can bring their mood up, down and all that. So totally agree on that DNA test under creativity and I'm totally gifted. And not only that, in the gifted, there's a form like one, two, three, but I'm only on the third for the DNA. So if after years I've been doing so much creativity since I was a baby, hopefully my creativity has reached to the fifth one yet. Hopefully. But um, so some interesting thing like my IQ is excellent. Okay, I understand that. But my EQ is normal for my DNA. So it's trying to say that when you're born, your DNA means that's what, what you have now. But maybe after years of change, probably my EQ has increased, you know, because that you can't really test it. This is only just on your genes. So I feel that my EQ definitely has changed a lot because... I don't make too much emotional threats or stuff like that, you know, so I think it's okay. And yes, as for my memory skills, I always forget stuff, which is actually good because I tend to forgive people faster because I always forget stuff like, oops, where did I put my clothes and all those things. So actually all this DNA traits is to help you to change and to improve yourself better. So if you know that you're good in creativity stuff, you can go get a job or work or anything towards the creativity section, you know, like for myself. So I should just put in more effort into making videos. I'm so lazy, right? But actually doing a video for me is actually so simple. So I should just do it and not be lazy. So this success traits thing, it's really good for me. So I remember a long time ago where I had an accessory task and then it shows me that I was only just 100% Chinese and plus Vietnamese. That's all they showed. But I remember my mom took the test too and she had like one to 5%, if I'm not wrong, Finnish blood which is Western blood somewhere in Europe, Finland, if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to check out mine, you know, but if you really want to check out where you really had it, um, where you came from and stuff like that, actually we should check out our great grandparents or great grandma and that, you know what I mean? So here's my results. As we can see, I am like 90% Chinese, East Asian. But I'm from the North Han Chinese side. So obviously I know that I'm really different from people in Singapore because most people from Singapore usually come from the South, like Fujian or whatever, you know, down South. So I come from the North. So my skin is fairer, I'm taller, and I'm probably a Dongbei girl, you know. So but which part of it? 
I have no idea. But my sister did a test also, and she probably had a bit of mix with North and Western minorities. So we are definitely mixed. And the South is probably came from my dad a bit because there is like 20% of it. It's not as much as my North side. So, but what is interesting is I have 0.94%. Indonesian, Thai, Malaysian, Filipino, Cambodian, and Burmese. No wonder I love to go to Thailand so much. And then I have a 1% of South Asian. I wonder what South Asian means, but you know, when I looked it up, it was totally different, but hmm, maybe great, great, great ancestors was mixed with someone in Finland or something, you know. So yeah, so that's why it's very important. No wonder I like to go to the north side of China. And during winter times, I feel okay. Like I like the wind. I can literally blow the aircon like when it's cold in Beijing, it's like minus 10 degrees and my face, I feel like, okay, normal, normal to me. Don't really like going down south though. So there are actually other types of tests that um, they gave it to me like diseases and then what kind of drugs I can take but I'm not going to touch on that. I'm just going to touch on something which is so important that everyone wants to know. It's cancer. So I was looking through and I thank God I have no cancer mutation whatsoever. So what did they test on is like they test on the genes which is tested like bladder cancer, brain cancer, breast cancer, all kinds kidney ovarian for women you know it's so crucial so i think that this um, genetic dna test is very important to know so that you can prevent yourself from getting all this cancer all diseases so i totally what i totally do is i totally recommend this whoever wants to have a better lifestyle or understanding yourself or you're just lost in the world and do not know where you came from and want to know where you really came from or what kind of diseases you have and how you can protect yourself you know not like by binge drinking and stuff like that when you are already like you know your liver is having some problems so i think it's very important for everyone to really check your health so i would totally recommend the circle premium dna thanks for staying tuned to the end of the video and i will be doing another review in the next day about herbalife products where it has helped my health you know after knowing more about what this circle premium DNA has talked about I would like to have a better diet on what I'm gonna eat and all that so with this herbal life I've gained to understand what I need what kind of vitamins and they really provide things that I need and of course the most important thing that I would like to stress about is omega-3 so I'll talk about this in the next video as you can click over there so don't forget to subscribe comment and tap the ring bell button i'll see you next week bye